Today, we're taking a look at James Harden's watch collection. James Harden is a professional basketball player for the Philadelphia 76ers of the NBA. He is regarded as one of the greatest scorers and shooting guards in NBA history, and also for having the worst beard in history. But let's see if he can score some points in the watch game. The first watch in his collection is the Richard Mill Arm 1103 McLaren Edition. It has an NTPT carbon case, uh, which stands for North Thin Ply Technology. And uh, NTPT is a company that makes the thinnest carbon foam. And they put these very small layers of foam together to form uh, the carbon case that you find on this watch. It's worth about $500,000. Richard Mill RM1103. This one was made for the rally pilot Jean Todt has a blue NTPT carbon, so same carbon as the previous one, except this one is blue, and has a flyback chronograph and date function. It's worth about $500,000. The Tech Philippe Nautilus chronograph is the 5981R in 18 karat rose gold and has a 40.5 millimeter case. This one is worth about a quarter million dollars. Vagart Black Hole Turbion. This is a new indie watchmaker uh, where Harden owns shares in the company. It has a central flying tourbillon movement. You can see the whole balance wheel in the middle that's uh, literally flying in the middle of the dial. It has a manual wound movement. It's worth about $300,000. Well, that's the price they're selling it for. Uh, I haven't seen any sell on the open market so far, so we'll have to take their word. But if I had to guess, it will probably sell for under $100,000. Normally, startup companies with high retail prices usually sell at big discounts. Patek Philippe Nautilus is the 5711-1A018 in stainless steel. and has a Tiffany blue dial, limited to only 170 pieces. The first one was sold on auction for $6.5 million, but unfortunately, it's not worth that much anymore. They trade for on the open market for about $3 million and one recently sold for 3.2. So it's still an incredibly expensive watch uh, for a stainless steel Nautilus. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver, reference 15710ST in stainless steel. And as opposed to regular divers watches, it does not have a rotating bezel. It has a rotating inner wheel that you can uh, rotate yourself to time the dive to uh, get the diving time by pulling out the second crown. But the problem is when you're underwater, you cannot pull it. Otherwise, water will get into the movement. And this one is the Lime Green Boutique Edition, uh, which means you can only get it in Audemars Piguet boutiques, not authorized dealers. And it's worth about $40,000. Rolex Date 840 is the reference 228238 in 18 karat yellow gold with a white dial. And it's worth about $40,000. Richard Mill RM55, this one was made for the golf player Bubba Watson. It's the black edition. Most of them are all white, but this one is black. Uh, he also has it on a blue rubber strap. Has a carbon case and a black ceramic bezel and case back. It is worth about $400,000 right now. Next, the Patek Philippe Aquanaut Chronograph 5968G010 in 18 karat white gold. This one has a 42.2 millimeter case. So when you get it in chronograph, it's bigger than non-chronograph, and it's much bigger than the Nautilus. It's worth about $140,000. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak is the 15400ST in stainless steel, fully bust down with aftermarket diamonds. This is his, his only iStyle watch, but this picture was taken a while ago. Here you can see Nipsey Hussle's in it, RIP Nipsey Hussle, so it's been a minimum three years since he took that picture. Also, Meek Mills in the picture on the right. It's worth about $40,000. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Open Worked. It's a 15407OR in 18 karat rose gold with a double balance wheel movement. This one is worth about $220,000. That's it for James Harden's watch collection. It has a total value of approximately $3 million and his net worth is around $165 million. I would have to rate his collection an 8 out of 10. Has great diversity. 
and at the same time some pretty exclusive pieces but he's still missing more dress watches and some factory diamond watches that are incredibly rare and hard to get so the first watch i recommend him is the petsec philippe nautilus 5980 with full diamonds from the factory uh, has baguettes on the bezel and center links as well as pave everywhere except the sides of the case and next audemars piguet royal oak tourbillon with the factory emerald bezel again some factory diamonds to add to his collection other watches you could add are stuff like patek uh, grand complication celestial uh, an fp Jorn, or any dress watch essentially would be uh, good to have Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about James Harden's watch collection. Who should I do next? And I will talk to you guys later.